do you think of them? Quite nice. So customers walk through, grab what they want. This will be on there. So I'm Nick Kleiner. I'm the founder of Sandwich Sandwich. So we're currently at our brand new um, London store in Gresham Street, which will be our first shop in London. And you're currently seeing it under construction, ready for our grand opening in a few weeks' time. Everything's going really smoothly, so we're at the beginning of the third week, out of six. So we're not out of the woods yet, but most of the hard work's done, the demolition's done, the prep's done. Next week we start construction, so this will look very, very different by next week. So I've got a restaurant background and we're quite a foodie family. So I came to Bristol for having been brought up in London, moved to Bristol in 2000 and opened a restaurant serving modern British food um, and did that for about 11 years. Um, and then obviously moved away from that into the sandwich business. The name Sandwich Sandwich actually came from my father um, who came down and tasted our sandwiches. Uh, this, was, this was actually before we opened, and he said, call it Sandwich Sandwich, so good we named it twice from the, from the Frank Sinatra song. So that, that's how the name was born. We're opening up our first London store in about five weeks time, and um, my role is marketing and building the brand, really. So I joined about seven years ago, and we started the Instagram page then, and for about three or four years, we only managed to get to about two and a half thousand followers. So um, slow, slow process to start with. We then started to get into um, our cross sections a bit more, develop our product more intensely, um, and build something that people could not see anywhere else. So a cross section is when you cut a sandwich perfectly in the middle, and you open it up, you get to see every single layer of your sandwich. And this is what takes ages to meticulously build. I can't take full credit. Um, I take all the photos for, of our sandwiches for, for social media and they developed over time. But originally it came from a customer who wanted um, basically all of our fillings in a sandwich and it made it massive. And at that point we took a photo, posted it online, it started doing really well and that's just how it slowly developed into us creating these incredible cross sections. The difference between our sandwiches and your bog standard sandwiches is it looks like art. People eat with their eyes nowadays, they want to see something and think, wow, I bet that tastes incredible. And the good thing is it does, it really does. So I tried the roast beef and I'm not going to lie, it's, it's, it's good, it's yummy, I, I'm absolutely loving it. This is a tandoori chicken. So it's a battle of these two, but look at that. These are so good. So product development, um, how we would do that is it's, it's quite a scientific process. We take it very seriously. So we will have an idea of a flavor combination. We then have designers working for us and illustrators who will actually build the sandwich on paper first um, before we even consider cooking it, tasting it, and making sure it's delicious. Chorizo, chicken, bit of lettuce, and it's naughty, I ain't gonna lie, really good. This is the roast rare beef that looks amazing with some um, rocket salads, tomatoes. I'm, I can't wait to try it, actually. The most challenging part of the journey so far, we've grown so quickly that trying to fulfill the demand and keeping everyone happy at the same time is a constant challenge. Of course, you know, with the cost of living crisis and food costs going up, we really all, we always want to try and give that value for money for the product as well. So that's, we're always looking at that um, as we go along. About 18 months ago, Nick admitted to me that he was working far too hard and not really earning enough money. So we had a little Camp David get together on a service station down the M5, and we had a real heart to heart about what did he want from the business? And I said to him, do you want to go for growth? And if you want to go for growth, you're going to have to come to London. My role is really to make sure the numbers come out, the Gerald Edelman do the numbers for them, and really I conduct the board meetings. So we go through every aspect of the business. HR, recruitment, our Gresham Street's moving, next site, sales and marketing, financial commentary, everything the business needs to know, because that's my experience. I'm a foodie, I'm not, I'm not really a numbers guy, so which is why as we've expanded, we've brought in a couple of investors um, that have expertise in other areas um, that can help us on this journey of expansion. Before I chose Sandwich Sandwich, uh, Nick Kleiner, who is Rich's brother, used to be my chairman. And he kept talking to me about Sandwich Sandwich and I wasn't paying much attention at all. Sandwich, what's sexy about a sandwich? Then I tried the product. Oh my God, it's addictive, I can tell you. There is nothing in the UK can match the product of Sandwich Sandwich. So having the right team and having the right offering and product, I couldn't take it out of my mind. Our biggest 
OMG moment for sure is definitely winning the Uber Eats restaurant of the year for the UK and Ireland. It was intense. It was extremely intense. We spent all day cooking for Pruli, Monica Galetti, uh, Matthew Price, the general manager for uh, Uber Eats in Europe. We wanted this more than anything. And the hard work my family have put into building Sandwich Sandwich what it is today, um, we genuinely felt like we deserved it. Yeah, it was a fantastic occasion and winning it meant absolutely everything to us and it made it all worthwhile.